What's up enthusiasts? Today we're talking about something that may be a little controversial to some and that is Patreon for better or worse. And uh, why is it relevant today? Well, it's because years ago I told myself at 10,000 subscribers I would start a Patreon. I wouldn't start one any sooner than that because it didn't make sense to me personally. And now that we are over 11,000 subscribers, which seemed like the thousand after the 10,000 happened really quick, but regardless, thank you. Um, I figured I should probably get on that. And I have some personal opinions on Patreon and, and I really want to make sure Patreon is done in a way that I feel like I'm at least giving something of, of some sort of value back to you. Uh, I, I don't want it to be just a place where I say, you want to give me some money? Hey, thank you. It, uh, I, I want to make sure I'm, I'm trying to give you at least something. We'll get into exactly what I'm doing for the tiers in just a moment here, but um, I, I want to talk a little bit really quick about some of the stuff before that. And that is, I love what I'm doing. I love doing YouTube and, and working on Nerf related videos, bringing you Nerf news every week, uh, changing up my style to have uh, the new kind of edits we've had with the slow motion stuff and reviews and stuff like that. The the new gameplay for BTA stuff and the regular gameplay that I bring. Um, all that stuff. But I have so many more plans that I am looking forward to and excited about and want to bring you. But I can't realistically do those things as, as much as I would like. And that's... If I worked a regular job, uh, I'd be much more able to. But unfortunately due to my health issues and, and the stuff around that. I have not been able to hold a regular job for years now, and uh, it's it's a bit frustrating. It's a bit frustrating. I, I would love to get to the point where this was my full-time career, and it's certainly a goal. But the reality of it is, I'm still a very, very, very small channel. And what I made on YouTube last year equates to less than most people get on their average paycheck for two weeks of work. To give you a rough idea, you, you're not supposed to talk about the exact amounts, but just to give you a rough ballpark estimate of how little is made on YouTube through ad revenue for small channels. So that's just something to give you an idea that I, I can't really afford to buy a ton of stuff, all the new blasters, all the new third-party products. I have to pick and choose and be selective, and I don't get to travel much as well, mostly because of my health issues, but I am attempting to make some jumps this year to attend some certain things. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, you'll notice this last year, I didn't really do blaster reviews uh, because that gets expensive. And you know, it's just, it's, it, these things add up, unfortunately, and I don't have the income to do those. So uh, I don't want this to be a pity plea. Um, I just wanted to state the facts as they are currently. Um, so, Again, don't want it to be, oh, I'm so sad, here takes it. No, I don't want that. I want, I want anyone that chooses to do this to choose to do this because they want to and because they find some sort of value in it. So with that said, let's talk about the tiers. Uh, I'm only doing three tiers. I personally really like the idea of giving as much value as I can at lower price points and then having one higher end just in case. So we're starting with $1 tier and that tier is going to get you uh, access to all of my unedited raw gameplay footage videos. So whenever I go out to a game in the future, I'll come home, I'll upload the footage and I'll post it up for the patrons, all, all patrons to see. So you'll get to see a lot of games that don't make a final cut don't get to go onto the YouTube channel because they weren't interesting, uh, because something was wrong with the camera, like it's a little too high, a little too low, all kinds of things. You may see much more than actually makes it to the channel. Whether that's interesting to you or not, hey, that's your choice. Uh, also, for every month that you are a patron at the $1 level, your name will appear in every week's This Week in Nerf. Uh, it will be scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Ideally, I'm pretty sure that's how I'll be doing it, is so it'll be like a little ticker like the news. And your name will slide across the screen. And uh, it, I'm looking forward to being able to do things like that and uh, show the names that way. So that way you get to see them throughout the course of the video rather than just tacked on at the end or something like that. Um, 
Also, you will get access to the Patreon feed where I'll be posting behind the scenes stuff, images of what I'm working on, just random stuff that won't be shared anywhere else. And of course, if you are into Discord, if you're on the Discord for this channel, you will get a patron status that will give you a nice color and recognition. And thanks for your uh, patronage. After that, we have a $3 tier, and that will give you everything that's in the other tier. And it will also give you access to my upcoming videos list. So all of my video ideas and stuff that I am currently working on or have slated to be worked on, you get to see all of that. And on top of that, uh, there are a lot of times when I'm going to a game and I look behind me at the wall of blasters or on the shelves with blasters or any other place I go, I don't really know what I want to bring. What should I get footage of? Or uh, what should I review next? Or things like that. Um, I can be a fairly indecisive person at times, so when it comes to things like that, I will reach out to the people in the $3 tier, we'll have like a special chat or something, and uh, say, hey, these are some options. What should I run? You choose. Pick for me. Whatever the you know, consensus is, I'll go with that. So it's something, something kind of fun and interactive that we get to uh, just, yeah, mess around with to pick some things that, that end up on the channel in a certain order, I suppose you could say. Uh, and then I have one other tier that is way up there. That is a $50 tier, and there's only one of them I'm going to have active at the start, and that is essentially if you want a certain video made, that tier will get that video made within reason, as long as it's something that is realistic for me to do. Now, if you say, here's $50, I want you to buy an FDL2 and review it, I probably have to say no to that because I simply can't afford that currently um, as much as, you know, that'd be awesome, but the point is, discuss with me first before you back at that tier if you have a video you want done. A gameplay video or a view, a discussion topic. Shoot me a message, say, hey, I'm thinking about this. Uh, can you make this happen? And I'll, I'll let you know. We'll discuss. Maybe there are some alterations or something. Uh, but I want to make sure you get what you want if you choose to back at that ridiculous tier. Like I said, I want these focused way at the bottom. I, I want it accessible to as many people as possible. Uh, because every dollar seriously adds up. It, it, every dollar is appreciated and it, it cannot go uh, overstated how much those little things add up. I'd much rather have 500 to 1,000 people, which would be amazing. I give if 10% of the people that watch this channel backed at a, at a $1 tier, the things we could do would be amazing. Um, that kind of blows my mind just thinking about it. Sorry, getting distracted. Uh, <laughs> I'd much rather have more people be involved than having it feel exclusive or exclusionary. I want it to be inclusive, as inclusive as possible as something that requires payment. Um, and I think that's why I waited so long to do this is I, I always feel a little bit awkward when it's, when it's, hey, money's involved here. You know, I don't want it to seem like uh, I'm ungrateful or, or just expecting certain things. This is just, you know, it's something that we're going to put out there. If it does well, fantastic. I never want anyone to feel obligated or pressured to back or, or support or be a patron or whatever. Your viewership is amazing as it is. If you want to support the channel without spending any money, share the channel. Share some videos. Show your friends. Talk about the channel. There are so many ways you can be helping grow this channel without ever having to spend a dollar. Anything you do from watching a video to sharing a video to leaving a comment is immensely appreciated. And uh, if you choose to go this above and beyond step, thank you. So much sincerely thank you. Um, this is definitely a step out of my comfort zone to, to be doing something like this, but like I said, hopefully it goes well. If not, it's, end, it's not the end of the world. Uh, with that said, I'm gonna leave a link down below to that Patreon. Check it out. Leave your comments down below on what you think of the tiers. If you think maybe some adjustments should be made or something else should be changed, please let me know. I, I very much appreciate any and all feedback. So thank you so much for watching. Whether or not you choose to go check it out or not, thank you for taking the time to watch this. I appreciate every single one of you. With that said, I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.